watch everybody because I like to learn. And I was one thing, and I heard a brother on the YouTube ask you, is it okay to eat pork? Yes. And you said yes. Yes. Very proudly, yes. Yes. Eat anything. God make nothing unclean. All right. Bless it and eat it. That's right. what I've been grown up with. That's what I was raised yes. to teach myself. But the Bible tells me. Yes. In the beginning, when God created, I don't know the Bible like you. That's all right. Right? right. I can't tell you about probably some things. I will ask you where it is. You can tell. I can quote it, but you can tell me where to find yes, it. Yes, sir. But anyway, when God created heaven and earth and the humans and all the things, he gave them instruction as to what to eat. Yes. And what not to eat. Yes. What to do, what not to do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Jesus. We you call Jesus, I call him Esau. Esau, yes, yes. Sir. We say the same right? thing. Right? But Jesus came and he said, Think not that I come to change the law. Yes. Think not that I come to change the law. What did he come to do? Pro um, fulfill it. Right. Or, or, or explain it to them when they know it, because they didn't understand it good. Well said. He Some of them explain. didn't understand it, so he came to explain it just like he did with the Sabbath. Yes. He explained it to them. Uh -huh. Say, if something is happening, it's not by purpose that you broke the Sabbath, but there's an incident. So do the incident and continue the thing. Yes, Even sir. me, you probably know today is Ramadan. Yes, it is. You understand? And certain things can happen in accident that might cause me to slip up with my Ramadan, but it won't be intentional. Right. So I keep going. Anyway, God said, don't eat the poor. By the split hoof and the chewing of the cord. Yes. He tells you what to eat and not to eat. Yes, and sir. one of them was the poor, yes. the swine. Right. Jesus said, which I accept as my prophet, yes, sir. that he didn't come to change any law. And any man change the law, it would be required of him. You might know the scripture better than I. Yes. Not Lord. heaven and earth shall pass away. But none of these scriptures, none of these words shall pass away. And you just said today, uh, a little while ago, God don't make mistakes. Right. And I believe that. Yes. But then I came a man named Paul. Yes. Who... To this day, I cannot understand where he got his authority from oh. to change God's law. Do you believe that Paul changed God's law? Yes, I did. So, if God said don't do it and Paul said do it, if God said circumcise and Paul said don't circumcise, do you believe? God, let me ask you something, Brother Russell. You believe, you said you don't know where Paul got his authority from? To change God's law. He didn't change it, but I do want to show you where he got his authority from. To change the law? He didn't change the law. He but I just you, he want he he by, by his law, no, you can eat pork, and you no longer circumcised. It wasn't Paul's law. Did the Bible ever say it was Paul's law? The, God's law is to circumcise and right. don't eat pork. Right. That's God's law. All right, now, can Paul I help you? Paul said, yes. you don't have to circumcise. Circumcise the heart. Yes. Paul says, eat the pork. God made nothing unclean. Yes. But when God created the animals, he okay. told you yes. this is clean and this is unclean. Yes. When Noah was building the ark, yes, sir. he told them gather, I think, seven of every kind. Seven, clean animals, seven of the clean and, and, put them in the and the unclean by two. Two of each kind of the unclean. Yes. And put them in the but yet you say God made nothing unclean. No, I never said God didn't make nothing unclean. Well, Paul said it. He said, eat. God made nothing unclean. Bless it. All right. All right. All right. Now, Brother Russell. First of all, let's see where Paul got his knowledge from. In the book of Galatians chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 11. Says what? But I certify you, brethren. That I certify you, brethren. That the gospel which was preached of me. The gospel, this is Paul preaching. Paul said the gospel that he preached. Is not after man. Now, if he said it's not after man, he let you know it didn't come from him either. Because, just a minute, because he's a man. All right. For I neither received it of man. And neither did he get his teaching of man. Neither was I taught it. Nor was he taught it. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. It was revealed to Paul what to preach. So Paul got his message the same way the prophets got theirs. They got it by the okay. self same spirit, the one God of the universe. Now, yes, sir. Paul got the same message. 
Shouldn't it, if Paul got the message from God, yes. as the other prophets or apostles, yes. shouldn't it be the same message? It is the same message. No eat pork? I'm going to show you what. Circumcised? Yes. Shouldn't it be the same? It is the same. So we're, we're, You we're just don't understand what it means. You eat pork? No. But I... I don't eat it because the Old Testament say I don't. I eat. I don't eat it because I don't like it. What I mean? I don't eat beef. What I mean is that you you okay to be eating? I heard. I heard I'm gonna show you why. But, but, but isn't that change? No. Isn't that change? No. If God said don't do it. Listen, brother Rasul. Yeah. Let me explain what it meant. All right. Let me explain what the Old Testament meat to abstain from represent in the New Testament. You see, in the Old Testament, it was a lot of fleshy ordinances, commandments, fulfill the flesh for the satisfaction of the flesh. You offered up sacrifices. You ain't offering up sacrifices now. You're offering up lambs or you're offering up goats. But when you offered up the meat offering, it couldn't have a spot. It couldn't have a blemish. But yet we ain't doing it now because the Bible don't command it for it to be done. Now, who changed that? God brought about change. Just a minute, let me answer you. The reason why, let me help you. Listen, there are things that God gave under the time of Moses that was good for Israel. We're not doing it now. They were baptized in the cloud, in the sea, under Moses. We ain't baptized in the cloud, in the sea, under Moses now. They took blood from an unspotted lamb, put it over the doorpost so the death angel can pass by. We're not putting blood of a lamb now over our doorpost, doorpost yet. We are covered by blood of a lamb. And that lamb is Jesus. I want to teach you. Now, the Old Testament port, the Old Testament dietary law, the Old Testament was a shadow. For the law. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and we're at verse one. Listen. For the law having a shadow, of good things to come. Now, Brother Rasul, that's your shadow right on the, on the floor, correct? But is that actually you? You're the actual person, but that's the shadow. So Rasul would be the actual good thing to come. The shadow is not the real thing, but it looked like it. It moved like it. But it ain't the real thing. Listen, at the Bible. Can I ask you for the law? Just a minute. Brother, yes, sir. Can I ask one question before you go any further, Do You believe in the Old Testament now? What came in the New Testament from the Old? We still hold. So, so, so that's what I'm saying. You don't no longer believe in the Old Testament. Oh yes, I believe. The Bible still says this: all things must be fulfilled. So, now, so you still you. accept the Old let Testament? Me, let me answer you, brother. Jesus said, all things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. So there are many things in the Old Testament that did not come in the New Testament. Exactly, but it don't change. You said God's law don't change. He don't make mistakes. All right, God don't change. And he don't make mistakes. Uh, let me finish. God don't change, mm -hmm. but God changed things. Does he not? Yes, I would say that. Oh, not? But he's not going to change his law. Just a minute. If he changes his law, then something was wrong. No. Yes. Let's if he changed his law, then he did something wrong. All and right. he didn't do anything wrong. All right. That's how I would look at let, it. All right. Let's eliminate how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Because if you go by the law, can the law make you perfect? If I follow it. If I follow the law. The law can make you perfect. If I follow the law. All right, let's see what the Bible says about that. In the book of Hebrews chapter 8. Follow me. Yeah, I remember and at verse 7. Yes, follow me in the Bible. Follow me in the Bible. Hebrews chapter 8 and at verse 7. That's what? For if that first covenant had been faultless. If the first covenant had no fault. Then should no place have been sought for the second. Then it wouldn't be no place for the second. For finding fault with them. Finding 
fought with them. He said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. Yes. When I will make a new covenant. You see, the Lord came and made a new covenant. With, with the house of Israel. The 